you look at the scenery out here? It's like something out of a magazine. There's just so many trees. It's probably poison ivy out here, dear. Man, this is great. Where are you taking me, honey? How much further is it? Linda? Lonnie? What do you think? Well, it's not Cape Cod, but we can make it work. Honey, I know this isn't your vacation home by the ocean, but this, this was too good of a deal to pass up. And just think, in six months, when we finish the book, we'll be back in the city. Heck, when this book sells, we'll buy another vacation home. In just six months, huh? Lonnie? What do you think? Pretty awesome, huh? <laughs> Son, I know you miss your friends, but this is something we really need to do. It's only temporary. Just until your father finishes his new book. Okay. There's tons of places we can explore together. Enjoy the great outdoors? Heck, I hear you can catch a fish this big out. Can we go fishing now? Uh, 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 uh. We've got some unpacking to do first, young man. Yeah, what your mother said. Tell you what, first thing tomorrow, we'll go into town and check it out, buy some bait, and you and I can go catch one of those monster fishes. What do you think? Cool! I think we're gonna be okay. Yeah, just, just give me until October to finish the book. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand you have deadlines, but this is my best book yet. Y yeah, 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 I'm in the middle of it. I, I've, I've already written 300 pages. Okay. <laughs> great, great. Thank you. Hey, honey. Who was that? That was my literary agent. Honey? I know this isn't Chicago, and this has been a big adjustment for all of you. But there's, there's too many distractions for me in the city to write another book. I know. I'll be okay. Just a little homesick is all. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Have you seen Lon anywhere? Uh, no. I thought he was with you. Oh. Um...
Just what I thought. Raccoons. They gone it. Morning. Well, I went grocery shopping this morning. I was hoping to have breakfast made before you woke up. What time is it? About 9.45. Did you find out what made that noise last night? Yeah, it was the garbage can. Family raccoons probably smelled the food. Huh, really? Did you make any progress on your book? Yeah. I wrote another chapter. Well, that's good. How about some coffee? That sounds great. You know, I was thinking, why don't we just enjoy today? No work. See what's in town. Do a little exploring. Thank you. Well, that sounds good. Does that mean you won't be on the computer all day? Not today. Book and wait till tomorrow. Hey, sport. Ugh. I'll just sleep, honey. I kind of I kept on hearing noises all night. Well, we live in the wilderness now, Lonnie. It was a family of raccoons. Don't worry. Your father took care of it. I tell you what. Why don't you and I do some exploring while your mother makes breakfast? How's that sound? Cool. Well, don't be gone too long. Breakfast will be ready in about a half an hour. Okay. Slow down, Tiger. I'm not as young as I used to be. Whoa! This is much bigger than I thought it would be. Come, Dad, okay. come on. Son? Okay, I'm gonna teach you how to throw a rock. Watch real close. Go ahead. Wow. Who taught you to throw like that? Mom did. Dad, can you keep a secret? Well, sure. I found a bear cave the other day. You did? Yeah, come on. The realtor didn't say anything about caves on the property. See any bears in there? Only one way to find out. Let's take a look. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> it's a lot colder up here. Wow. Who would have thought something this big was in our own backyard? Can we go up there, Dad? I think we should be getting back. I'm sure your mother has breakfast ready. Can we stay here and go up there? I tell you what, first thing tomorrow, we'll come right back. Tell them about the fish in your line. Tomorrow. Please, please, Dad. Ew, you stepped in shit, Dad. They gone it. I just bought these shoes. Keep going. There's nothing out there, Linda. Maybe it was just a, a big possum. Possum? Possums don't get that big, Charles. First a raccoon, and now a possum? Ugh. 
Ew! What is that smell? Dad stepped in a pile of shit. We don't use that type of language, Lonnie. We did earlier in the bear cave. Bear cave? <laughs> it's not a bear cave. Well, everyone just calm down a minute. Now, Linda, I don't know what you saw, but I can guarantee you it wasn't a bear. I don't care what it was. I want it taken care of now. Okay, I'll, I'll call a, a pest control guy. Okay. But first, can we enjoy our breakfast? Oh, okay, fine. But leave your shoes outside. I don't want you tracking that mess inside. Beaver Pelt Falls, 3241 Hickory Lane. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Great, thanks. They can be here at 5. Well, they did have to squeeze us in. I tell you what, why don't we go into town? We can kill some time, do a little sightseeing, and by the time we get back, they'll be here. Okay, you're right, honey. Daddy, can I eat that toy? I already told you no, now stop it. Hey, Mama, want some tickets to the gun show? How you doing? Maybe letting your mom loose with my credit card wasn't such a good idea. Yeah. Yep. Hi. Here's my two favorite guys. Honey, I found the cutest shop up the street. And look what I found to go with my dress. Isn't it adorable? Mm. And the soy candle. Take a whiff of that. Oh, I love it. Oh. It's died for. Oh, look at the time. We need to meet the pest control guy in less than an hour. We better get going now. I forgot. I'm sorry. I don't know how we miss this place. We gotta get back home, honey. Oh, we, we can make a quick stop. Besides, I can taste that gold sarsaparilla right about now. Can I get two root beers? Lonnie, you can have three. I think we should turn around, Charles. Are you kidding me? We're already here. We saw your sign by the side of the road, and we figured we'd stop by and try some of your famous root beer. Yeah, look. I just made a fresh batch. We make the finest root beer in the county now. Hickory age barrels and the finest fidelity you ever had. It's a dollar cup. How many y'all want? Well, we're good. We're not thirsty, thank you. Linda. We'll take three. Fine. Pass me one of them cups there. Wait a minute now! Don't you touch my root beer! What's the matter with you now? Hey, these kids, these knuckleheads. Wait a minute. Now that, that's delicious. <laughs> Y'all just passing through? Yeah, actually, we just moved up here. We bought the cabin in Beaver Pelt Falls. You don't want to go up there. You don't want to go up there, you hear me? I beg your pardon? Why shouldn't we? Bad place to be. When I was a kid, no bigger than this younger right here. My, my family was out picking some roots one day. 
Yes, 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 we was. You, you see, the fair was coming, and my daddy Preston ate the finest root beer in the county. I mean, people have come from 500 miles around just to taste his root beer. But there was something watching us in the woods that day. Just a prowling and growling. Come on, let's go. Who, who's watching you? The field freak. The field freak? The field freak. <laughs> oh, it's funny to you, huh? I ain't fixing to tell you no tale. He don't want you up there. You be in bumping in the nights, all kind of noises, growling. You knocking the trash over? You said it was raccoons, Charles. A raccoon? You think a raccoon did this to me? <gasps> oh, good root beer. Time for us to go. Yeah. You better look out. You better hide. Feel free coming. So get inside. Oh, he got a bunch of dick off. Ain't <laughs> no sound in one your ass either. Okay. What about his leg? He was just born that way. Just a birth defect. Your father's right. Are you okay? Yeah. That's my boy. Can we go home now, honey? Thanks for coming out on such short notice. Not a problem. I'm just sorry I'm a little bit late. I haven't been up this way in years. Ah, don't worry. You're here now, and that's what matters. So, can you show me where the problem is? Did we, uh, first seen the raccoons? Well, it's actually... Well, at least we haven't had any problems in our house. What exactly are you looking for? Animal droppings, feces, anything to indicate an infestation. Oh, oh, yeah, like, right there. Yep, you guys got problems. Mm. Mm. Yep, you definitely got a problem. I'm gonna find all these little problems all over your house. I'm gonna add them to my collection. A actually, the. The problem's outside. Follow me. I didn't catch your name. Oh, uh, um... Jerry! Jerry, I'm Charles. The, the, the problem's outside. Oh, outside? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. And we've been experiencing these strange grunting sounds and heavy breathing late at night. I don't see any claw marks to indicate that it would be a raccoon. And th this is the window that my wife had her experience. She said somebody ran right by the window. To be honest, I, I don't think it's raccoons that you need to be worried about. Well, this is even worse. Wh what could be worse than that? I think you've got beavers. So this will cover the uh, traps, the cost of the bait, and the removal of the animal once we catch it. Just sign here, please. You know, I noticed the box is inside. Are you guys new to the area? Yeah, we just moved in from Chicago. You know, I think you're all the first family that's lived here since uh, the murders. <laughs> did, did you say murders? Oh, yeah. I remember my parents telling me about it. 
The Perkins family had a secret root beer distillery up in Beaver Pelt Falls. I guess they were cooking up a batch and somebody just killed them all. Ah, oh, except for their son, Ned. He was the sole survivor. <laughs> Bloody mess, too. You know, blood and guts everywhere. Bodies were torn to shreds. Oh, you know, the police never did catch who did it. But most folks think Ned did it to take over his dad's root beer business. Did you say root beer business? <laughs> yeah, Ned's actually still in business. Guy gives me the willies, <laughs> but that son of a bitch sure can make a great cup of root beer. Well, well why was this Ned guy never arrested? Oh, they didn't have enough evidence to charge an 11-year-old with murder. Plus, kid had his leg ripped clean off. That's right, claimed some monster did it. But anyone with half a brain cell knows a rabid beaver did it. I can only imagine how long it must have taken for him to gnaw through all that flesh and bone. <laughs> Well, Charles, uh, pleasure meeting you. I better get going. I'll be back in the morning to check the traps. And uh, you've got my card, so let me know if there are any other problems. Okay. Thanks. You'd be asleep by now. We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Is everything all right? Dad? Yeah? Do you think he's real? Who? The field's real. No, of course not. Do you think the boogeyman's real? No. Well, then why would this field freak be anything more than an old wives' tale? Right? All righty, then. Good night, son. Good night. Dad, can you leave the door open? Sure. And the hallway light on just for tonight? Just for tonight. Good night. Good night. I don't know what it is, but I feel so much better now. Yeah, now that we have that beaver problem solved, we can all relax a little. Yep. Although, Lonnie's still a bit shaken up. Well, tomorrow you two can have a nice little father-son fishing excursion. Speaking of beavers... I think there's a little issue you can help me with.
Linda, have you seen my shoes anywhere? They're inside. No, no, the old pair, the ones that got dirty. Well, last time I saw them, they were right there. Hmm, that's odd. Oh, sweetheart, you look exhausted. Didn't you sleep well? No, I heard those noises again. Same as before? Kinda, this time there's a lot of moaning. <gasps> Definitely the beaver, sweetie. Son, um, where's your tackle box? Oh, it's inside. I'll go get it. Hey, there's the pest control guy. Checking traps. Morning, folks. How you doing? I don't get it. Traps have been set off, bait's gone, and we've got nothing. Well, what does that mean? It means we're dealing with something a whole lot smarter. Oh, God almighty, not good. Not good at all. What is it? Maybe it was a bear. Kid, we don't get bears around here. Are you sure? Because we found this cave the other day. Can you show me this cave? Bit of a walk, but sure. Come on. Something's definitely been living in here. Twenty years, I've never seen this much beaver shit. This might be the biggest infestation I've ever seen. Well, don't beavers live in ponds and marshes? Not rabid ones. You might want to get some protection. With a colony like this, they travel in packs, like wolves. Wolves? Make no mistake, they are much smarter than wolves. You see, wolves howl and they give away their location. But beavers, you never know until it's too late. Until you're dead. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna need a lot more bait. Hey, it's my shoes. First your shoes, next your son. Rabbit beavers will eat anything. Oh my. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah.
you've explained it was definitely beaver no doubt in my mind no doubt at all well how do you explain it dragging its claws along the window i mean that must be eight foot off the ground never ever underestimate the strength of a beaver now everything you need to know is outlined in this brochure along with the estimate which is good for 30 days We'll think it over and, and get back to you. Okay. Folks, I don't want to scare you. But just last year, a woman from town woke up to find herself surrounded by a family of beavers trying to beat her to death with their tails! Yeah. They took turns for hours. Now, they may look all cute and cuddly, but trust me, they are not your friends. <laughs> After getting rabies vaccinations and suffering nerve damage from an irreparable beating, she now walks with a limp. Yes, I don't want that to happen to you. Or your son, he lives in the basement. Look it over, please. Please. It's safety. That's for your family. It's little, 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 little bear guy. Oh. <laughs> that guy's pretty weird, huh? <sighs> Listen, buddy. I'm really sorry. I know you really want to go fishing. I'll make it up to you, I, I promise. Okay. I think we should do it. Hmm? Hire him. Linda, I, that's $2,500. I, that's a lot of money. We don't even have that kind of money. We'll have that and more once your book sells. I can't live this way, Charles. You don't believe me, do you? Oh, honey, honey, I do believe you. I think it's been a long day. Why don't we go out to eat tonight? We'll discuss it then. I, I, I promise. All right, fine. Traffic is busier than usual today as a result of That's one of the best stakes I've had in a long time. If you're in a rush, you might want to avoid the highway. Better than mine? Close. But yours is much better. Welcome back to the program. Hey, turn that up. That's a good song. I don't want to wake up Lonnie. You know, I was thinking, maybe we should put some video cameras up. See if we can't catch something on film. It might be a bear after all. Oh, but honey, you heard what the pest control guy said. They don't get bears around here. Well, I'm starting to think that everybody in this town's a bit off their rocker. <laughs> Charles, look out! Jesus oh Christ! What was, what was that? Charles, you're not getting out of the car, are you? Locked the Charles! Door. Charles! Dad, don't go out there, Dad! Charles! Charles? Where did he go? Huh? What was it? I don't know. He ran off.
was out in the open. He's just standing there, right? Yeah. Grab my gun. I shot him right in the dick. Oh, <laughs> nice! <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow for lasagna. Right. Hey, don't forget that garlic bread either. Oh, no, hell no. <laughs> Have a good night. Morning. What can I do for you today? I'd like to buy a gun. <laughs> well, we have plenty of those. What are you looking for? A rifle, a handgun, shotgun? I'm not sure. How about that one? Ooh, yeah. Can I hold it? Oh, yeah. There we go. Play with it. It's a real man's gun. Wow. Wow. Whoa, whoa, slow down! Jesus! Get for your play net! I'm sorry, I, I'm just not familiar with guns. Yeah, I can tell. Idiot. How much? It's on sale today. Let me explain what this is. It's a Des Tactical Arms custom AR-15. It's got 18-inch barrel. Wow. What is it? Wow. Flash suppressor. It's got flip-up sights. It's a scope. It's a 30-round mag. Six-point adjustable stock. Yeah, I like that, huh? A 20-round mag built in. 5.56 five, chambered, on sale today for $14.95. Uh, that's a little bit more than I'm willing to spend. Do you have something for a couple hundred bucks? No. No, I think this one's our bomb dollar weapon. 12 gauge shotgun. Guy just traded in first thing this morning. You can do some serious damage with that one. How much? $295. Great, I I'll take it. All right. Uh, I need to see a current picture ID, and we have to do a background check first. OK, great, great, great. H how long is this going to take? Ah, a few minutes. I'll be right back. Have a look around. Ammo's on the back wall. Thanks. OK, your background check came back clean. Well, great. You're new in town, aren't you? Okay, total is gonna be three hundred fifty-five dollars and ten cents. I know now. You're that writer that moved into the old cabin up in Beaver Pell Falls. Mm -hmm. My wife's a huge fan. <laughs> Loves all your books. Well, great. I think they suck. I hear some good hunt up there though. Although nobody's been up there since it happened. You know, just a suggestion before you go up and start using this thing. You might want to think about getting some safety courses under your belt first. Well, I need it more for protection than hunting. Protection from what? Um, bears and other things? <laughs> we don't get bears around here. What do you mean, other things? Field freak. Come again? <clears throat> Field freak. Field freak. Yeah, we saw him the other night when we were driving home from dinner, and my wife was almost attacked by him. Oh boy, you should talk to old Ned. I'm sure you and him could collaborate on your next book. <laughs> could I have my shelf, please? <laughs> oh, feel free. Woo! Hey, let me know if you catch him. I'd sure love to meet him. <laughs> oh, have a good day. Meatball. <laughs> oh. You think that's gonna stop him? No, sir. What do you want? I want the same thing you do. To stop him. You believe me now, huh? Yeah. We did see it the other night. It ain't safe to talk here. Okay, um... Do you want to have dinner at our house? My wife makes a killer casserole. I like that. Okay. See you there. Good. Thanks. <laughs> you did what? No. I invited him to dinner. Jeez, I don't see oh, what the big deal is, God. honey. What the big deal is? You invited some crazy old man that sells root beer by the roadside out of a shack into our house? He scares the crap out of Lonnie, and he has dirty fingernails, and he stinks. He's here. Oh, great. Come on in. Thank you, Ken.
my list. How was your drive up? You see a car out there? I walked. Took me damn near five hours getting up them hills. Potholes all up and down the road. Yes, sir. You got a nice little house here. <laughs> yeah, you ought to make your streets more handicap accessible. This shit is dangerous. Man, no. huh. What? There's something outside I want to show you. This ain't no good. He's getting too close. Mighty fine bill tonight, ma'am. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you. Is there anything else I can get for you? I'll take some more than peas, please. Here you go. Oh, why, why'd you stop? I want all them peas, you hear me? Stop the whole bowl on there. <sighs> Ned, I have to say, this is mighty fine root beer. Yes, indeed. Only the finest. About 1992 is when I bottled that. It has notes of hickory and clove. Mm -hmm. So, Ned, how long have you been in the root beer business? My whole life. My great, great, great granddaddy, Willie Perkins, started the business in 1812. Yes, he did. Then he stated out his son, Barker Perkins. In turn, he handed his son, Leroy Perkins, and then to his son, George. George passed it to my pappy, Preston Perkins. God rest his soul. Hmm. So you grew up around here? Yes, ma'am. A place pretty much like this one. Mama had a garden out back, and uh, Papa had a distillery up in the hills. But he didn't want us up there. No, he didn't. How did you say it happened again? It's, uh, oh, I don't, I don't mind talking about it. My family was out picking some root beer roots one day. It's a mighty fine day. And Daddy had a new recipe he wanted to make. I was out back, you know, doing my thing, playing in the yard. That's when I heard it. Heard what? The crowd. Ow, ow, ow. Didn't think much of it. I'd heard it before. Thought it might have been a den heat. You know, they get to hump around this time of year. <laughs> <laughs> Charles. Then he came up out them bushes, and I wet on myself. I was frozen in fear. He got kind of mad. He walked over there, took a boulder, smashed my daddy's head. Mama tried to run away, but he got her and broke in half. I tried to run him, then I tripped. He come walking over there, looking at me, looking what he did to my family. Then he just grabbed my leg and ripped it apart. Well, that, you were so young. I mean, there's really no telling what you saw. I mean, maybe it was a... a... What, a beaver? Well, you think a pterodactyl did this to my leg? You know, I, I was going to tell you how great your meal was, but to be quite honest, your peas taste like this. Ned, Ned, please. Linda didn't mean anything by it. Can we just finish our meal? You said that you're gonna show me your stump after dinner. I'm out of here. No, no, have a place. No! Ned, I want to apologize again. I can assure you, Linda didn't mean anything by her comments. She's just stressed by the move, and she wants to go back home. Plus, with everything that's been happening, that's not making things any easier. Oh, 
come on, they gone it. I can still remember the first time I saw him. He was watching my mama take a bath. I told my daddy, and he put me good. He said I had wandering eyes. Nobody believed me. But I know what I saw. And you know what you saw. I guess we're not going to go anywhere tonight. I don't know about this. There's just something about him I don't trust. Bitch. Honey, it's just for one night. I can't expect him to walk home at this hour. Besides, I think you've done enough damage for one night. Me? Can I get you anything? No, sir. I'll be fine. Thank you very much. Sure I can't get you a pillow? Can't be too comfortable when you're being watched. Okay. Good night. For now he is. You go back to sleep. Okay. I know you're out there. Just bad new time. Well, I got news for you. Your time is up. Yes. Yes, it is. Mm hmm Yes, it is. I think you're going overboard on this one. Oh, am I, Charles? He's our son, and now he's out there with that, that murderer. Oh, I read the article, the one you didn't tell me about, about how that man that slept in our son's room got his family like wild pigs. I hope he enjoys his time in prison. Well, Linda, you heard what he said. It wasn't him, it was a field freak. Are you out of your fucking mind? Hey, gee whiz, we don't use that kind of language. <gasps> So many fish, Nan showed me the secret spot and everything. It was so cool. I'm sorry about the mess, man, but I stalked your son how to fillet himself a fish. <sighs> Disgusting. Nan said I was doing it wrong. Apparently, I have to bash his head in with a rock. Yeah, that's how he got all them damn guts up on his shirt. <laughs> Ned, you had us worried. Next time, do you mind just letting us know you were leaving? <sighs> I, my apologies, sir, but boy, you're good. That's all right. Hey, Linda, why don't you clean these fish up for dinner? Don't want to have a good catch like that go to waste. That's some damn good eating, ma'am. Oh. Then I have some business to attend to. What? Oh, forget it. We won't be long. Oh, good Lord. Disgusting. Look at you. You're a mess. Your shirt is ruined. Oh, I'm just so glad you're okay, sweetheart. Why don't you go put your clothes in the laundry room and, and jump in the shower? You stink. Yes, hello, this is Linda Bear. You left us an estimate the other day? Yes, in Beaver Pelt Falls. Uh-huh, yes. Um, my husband and I would like to go through with your services. Yeah, right here. This is where he ran in front of the car. 
This ain't far from your house either. No, it's about a quarter of a mile. You see that? See that? What is it? That's feel free piss. Yeah. You never forget to smell that, do you? I must get the fuck one out of here. I've been here by now. Hey, Mom. Can you help me get my computer game open? What? You play that thing all the time. Did you forget how to work it? No. Dad just left open this book, and I was wondering if you can help me. Okay. Sure, sweetie. What in the... Is this how you found it? Yes, I swear. I didn't touch it. I promise. <laughs> why? What's wrong? Nothing, nothing. Um, sweetie, why don't you go play with your action figures today? But, Mom... Don't argue with me. You know your father doesn't like it when you just get on his computer when he's not home. Fine. Nearly done with your book, huh? You lied to me, Charles. Good afternoon, ma'am. Thanks for going through with this. I guarantee this will solve your problem. I hope so. I just need to get a couple of things out of my van, and then I'll be gone for a couple hours, tops. Okay. Show yourself. Come on, come on. Wherever you are. I want to play a little game with you. It's called Your Head on My Wall.
Tell you what, oh, I take another bite, I think my stomach's gonna explode. <laughs> <laughs> Mine too, and something else. <laughs> Good catfish, boy. You're dead fast ahead of that damn fish is here, you know? Shit, that makes it good. Hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thanks, hon. <laughs> Can't you join me up for a cold glass of root beer outside? Don't mind if I do. Hey, Linda, we'll be out on the back porch just in case you need me. I'll see you out there. Trying to do the dishes. Honey, what's going on with you? You're not acting yourself. Why don't you go talk to your new friend, Ned? He seems to be more important than your family anyways. Why would you say something like that? What are you doing here, Charles? Huh? What's going through your head right now? I don't know what you're asking me. He's our guest. First new friend we made in town. And besides, he's going to help us with our problem. Oh, by killing us too? Linda, shh. Be quiet. He'll hear you. I will not be quiet in my own home. And quite frankly, I don't care if he hears me. Oh, and about our little problem? I've taken the necessary steps to get that taken care of, too. What do you mean? I hired the pest control guy. Honey, what, why didn't you ask me first? Do you know how much he cost? We don't have that kind of money lying around. Talk it over with you? Like you talk things over with me? Doesn't matter. It's done. Besides, we can just pay for it when you finish the book that you're supposedly working on. Where are you going? Lady problems? Yeah, you could say that. I was married myself once. Mm-hmm, yes, I was. Betsy Lane. Oh, she was a mighty fine woman. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, she was. That's all history now. What happened? She met someone. <laughs> Childhood friend of mine. He started, you know, romancing her. I caught him doing a nasty, right in my damn root beer garden. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, there's no need to be hell. They got what was coming to him. See, old Betsy's newfound boyfriend had a little drinking problem. Some bitch had no driving skills either. <laughs> Son of a bitch drove his car right off the side of the damn van. Can't you buy their own vacations? <laughs> wow. That's all right, shit. She never did believe me no damn way about the, my family. You know, the field freak. That's why we, we got a lot in common, see? Yeah. How can we get rid of him? I don't know. I, I've been trying to figure that out myself. But I tell you one thing. He already got one family. And I ain't about to let him take yours. Pack your suitcase. Look, I've had it, Charles. I can't take it anymore. Between being drawn to my own pool, your lies, and, and him, I'm at my wit's end. <gasps> but, Linda. Be quiet. It's Linda. for the best. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'll take care of you. Just sit back. We're leaving now. Get out of my way. I'm getting a motel room for the night. Miss Sweetie. Forget it, Charles. I'm leaving. I've had enough 
of you and your stupid book and all of your lies. You're nothing but a loser. I think I need a drink. I'll get more root beer. No, not that kind of drink. Mom, are you and Dad getting a divorce? No, honey. But your father can be quite difficult sometimes. Then why do we have to stay at a motel tonight? So he can think about the way he's been acting lately. I don't understand. Oh, it's complicated. Oh, no. Oh, not now. Oh, come on! I can't believe this is happening. I just want to go back to Chicago. I hate this stupid little town. Why do we have to move here? I hate it here. I miss my friends. I miss my better party. Mom, You know, I followed you to the gun store that day. Yes, I did. See, I was dropping off a batch of root beer. And I seen you pull it up in your car. I know why you went in there. Yes. See, fear does that to people. Yes, it does. Does what? Fire protection. But protection can't be bought. No, sir, no, it can't. Well, if you knew what I was going there for, why'd you follow me? You know, for 40 years, ain't nobody lived in beef pelt farms. Then you folks jump up and buy the only house in town that nobody wants. And you're gonna reap what you sow. And then they won't be calling me crazy they no more. Because it's gonna happen again and again and again. Yes, sir, yes, it is. You, you still didn't tell me why you followed me. Because I want revenge for what he did. You see, I'm the one that got away. So, so he got a bone to pick with me. And I got some retribution to deliver to him. Hmm? Yes, sir. Money! Oh, Lonnie. Oh, thank God you're okay. Where's your mother? Tell me, where's mom? The, the, the field freak, the field freak took her. We gotta call the police. You think they're gonna believe you, huh? I tired five minutes, it's gonna be too late anyway. Why would they take her and not him? He wants to breathe with her. Oh my God, no, no. Mr. Mayor? Is that you? Mrs. Mayor? <coughs> you need to get out of here before he comes back. Jerry! You gotta hurry! Well, what about you? He ripped my legs off! Oh my god! <laughs> you need to go now!
He gonna tear that ass up. Will you shut up? <laughs> okay. Huh? There's a cave on this property. It's gotta be where he took her. Where you going? To get my wife back. Daddy, I'm scared. Don't be, son. I'm gonna get mom back. I promise. Hey, hey, hey. Do me a favor. You kill that son of a bitch. You okay? You okay? Shut up that damn noise up! Okay, he's safe at the house, honey. Oh, I'm so sorry for everything that I said. You know that I love you, sweetie. I love you too. We need to get going right now, honey. Okay. They're back! Mommy, Daddy! Lonnie! Son! Who's that? The pest control guy. He's the reason I escaped. He's still alive. We can't leave him there to die. Okay, take care of mommy. Stay right here. I'll be right back. is coming for you. So get your stinky ass out here! Come out! Come out! Hell, oh, you fuck out here! Come out! You are one ugly son of a bitch! <laughs> Family took my leg. And now I'm gonna pump you full of stuff. <laughs> Thank you. 
Mann. Mr. Bear, you have no idea what it means to me that you're here today. I have loved your book every time I've read it. It's probably <laughs> well, six you. or seven times through now. Hey. I'm just so excited you're here. <laughs> I really am. Well, that's great. Well, thank you so much for coming today. It's really just... Thank you. <laughs> Uh, if you'd make that out to William. William? Yeah, a capital W, I, L, L. I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you, William. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Hi. Hello there. Well, I love the part about the field freak monster. Is he real? What do you think? I knew it! And who do I make this out to? Lyndon. Lyndon, okay. Well, thank you. I'm good, man. I read your book once. It's pretty good, I guess. Can you make it out to Stormy? Stormy? Give my son an autograph, old friend! Oh, oh, how are you? I can't believe you made it. I wouldn't have missed this by anything. How's your cabin? Are you still staying there? Yep. Got it looking real good, too. Open up a second root beer stand there. Well, with the help of my new business associate. Oh, hey, hey, Jerry! Yeah. Hey, great book! Love the part where the beaver guy saved the woman in the cave? Great mm. writing. Oh, oh. Thanks to you. <laughs> well, we best be going. We got some more delivery today. That's oh. right. Yes. Ever since the book came out, everybody wants to try Perkins Family Root Beer. Well, it's the best. It, it is. is. Yep. 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 We got 25 stars selling our root beer now. Yep. Oh, my God. I am so happy for the both of you guys. Thanks, yep. thanks. Oh, that's great. Well, thank you. Thank you, Kylie. Oh. Well, Jerry, let's roll. Oh, crap. Got a flat tire. <laughs> Oh, baby, let's go. Come on, come on. Oh, uh, root beer. 